I'll create new button using script from previous lesson. Here we need import from database, transaction, and also basic level is required for floors. To create a floor, use create new floor method. Here we need curve array, it's a contour of floor, family type, basic level, and structural type. Let's get all floor family types in the document by using element collector. We need floors category and select only element types, then get them as elements. I want to select specific slab type, so with loop I'll get element type name of every element in the list. I don't remember building parameter name, let's find it with Revit lookup. Ok, here it is. Now I can say if its name equal to floor 200 mm, then it's the one I need. The last thing I need here is contour of slab. Here is the plan how to get it. First, I'll create four points with the XYZ coordinates. Then I need four lines between these points. And finally, we will add the lines to a curve array. Here we go. Bottom left corner, top left corner, top right corner, and bottom right corner. Now I can create lines between these points. We need to add these lines to curve array in specific order to create closed contour. Let's reload to see a new button and check it. Ok, fine, but offset is not correct. I want it to be 0. We can change it as we did it before with the other elements. Let's find its built-in parameter name with the Revit lookup. Ok, now we can set it to 0. And finally, let's play a bit with the floor contour.